Hello and welcome back to my channel, my name is Zombie Quaggan, and here I'm going to be showing you where you can get the Crichton Draycount Ranger pet in Guild Wars 2. Okay, so you're going to stand in Lion's Arch and you're going to go from Fort Mariner and run north, okay? Now, um, a disclaimer, this is harsh. Like, this is probably the worst way to get a pet in the entire game. It's so bad that what I've done is I've made a new character so I don't have to sully this one. So I can show you capturing this on my new character, okay? But look at him. He's even got his own little name, and he's next to this nice Norn, and they're just kind of existing, and they're all being like happy and friendly, and yeah. So um, stick around for the end of the video, guys, where I'll show you like what happens. But honestly, it's not pretty. Like, I genuinely hate who wrote this in the game, but oh well. So let's move on. Go to Divinity's Reach. We're going towards the Western Commons, okay? Now um. Pretty much all, no actually, yeah, all of these pets, if you've got the waypoints, you don't have to actually get into any kind of combat for, which is great. Uh, Unless there's an event towards the all one, but it's fine. So we're going to run towards these buildings. Most people would run around the front. There's a tiny little hole here, okay? But check this out. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Yeah, really easy. So there's four by here in Divinity's Reach. But there's also some over in Rurikton, so we're going to go over there, still in Divinity's Reach. And we're going to run through this kind of doorway, and then over to Minister Wee's estate. So we're going to go down here, and then turn right. And there's like a gardeny kind of bit just by here. And we're going to run into there. So we're going to run inside. Run to the right. And look, there's one. There's a second. Ooh, and there's a third, if I can click on him. Uh, there. Cool. Awesome. So, let's move on. Let's go over to Gendaran Fields next, and we're going to go to the Ascalon Settlement. And actually thinking about it, this could also be contested, but, um, yeah. Ignore I said that, even though it's recorded, and most people won't. But, hey. Oh well, I've already said it. Not going to re-record this just to kind of do that. So we're going to run towards the southwest, we're going to run past this heart vendor towards these little tents and in a nice little pack one two three okay moving swiftly on let's go over to Straits of Devastation for my favorite area in the game I keep mentioning this like a complete fanboy from this area and I'm gonna mention it again every single time there's a new pet to discover here so we're gonna go to the Thunderhead waypoint and we're gonna run south okay so um Again, I just want to mention that, like, I'm about to go back to Lion's Arch with my new character, and it is so bad. It is so bad. Like, honestly, stick around for the video just to watch what happens. But, like, I didn't want to, to sully the good reputation of, you know, my zombie quag and Norn by putting him through what's about to happen in Lion's Arch. So, um, yeah, we're going to run through this cave, like with my other videos where I've been here quite a few times. I'm gonna go past this the fern hunt this time. And there's a spider, and there's more spiders, and there's a Drake Hound. And you can see the map pets running around here, it's amazing, right? Is there another one? There usually is. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one over there. So um Yeah. That'll do for the nice kind of areas. So let me quickly swap to my other to, to a new character and I'll be back right now. Okay, so I've made like the shortest human I can, just because this is just like to kind of shame him really he's even got like a black eye and he's named naughty quaggan that's how kind of you know bad this guy is imagine like a bandit and he like doesn't care about anyone else which suits what he's about to do now because like honestly i i don't like that this is actually written in the game so we're back here look at these guys you know they're happy they're kind of coexisting but oh look you can charm his pet what is this like why would you even be able to do that it's clearly his pet <laughs> that is the sound of a grown Norn crying because you've just taken his pet. And not only taken his pet, you are showing it off to him. Like, look at that. He's crying. That's what you've done. That's what you guys... Well, you haven't made me do it, you know. That's what I'm showing you, you know. Because, you know, I'm dedicated to showing you where all the pets are and that was one kind of weird way to get him, okay? But he's still crying. <laughs> like... 
What, anything kind of stuck him crying? Or is he stuck there like that? Oh wait, what's that? It's a lynx. That you can charm, that clearly loves him. What's this? He seems a lot better all of a sudden. Like he likes the new lynx. He's even laughing, because he loves it so much. Wonder what would happen if we charmed it. You know, it's clearly there, the big charm button. You're going to have to wait a few videos to find out, because in the next video, we've got the Lash Tail Devourer instead. So I will see you next time.